Hello, welcome to my art studio. This week, I think I'm gonna do like a week in the life of an artist because I have a lot of like different things going on right now. And I like to show you folks behind the scenes stuff from time to time. I usually do this on my side channel, Freely Mira. That's usually my vloggier channel. But right now, as you can see, I am very pregnant and I don't really have the energy to do art like every week. So I'm just kind of doing whatever fun stuff I feel like doing. <laughs> also, I've slowed down quite a bit. I've mostly been resting and sleeping. Like it is 3 p.m. right now and I'm just starting my work day. Um, and that's okay, rest is good. So right now I am doing a product photo shoot and I also just have like random stuff on my desk. <laughs> anyway, I meant to release these like two or three months ago and I never did. So we're doing that this lunch. And then I have, oh my goodness, these things are so cute. These little bunny stickers. I thought they'd be really fitting for spring and I just love how soft they look. And then this one here, this is probably one of my favorite stickers I'm releasing. It says, be gentle with yourself. I think that message is just so important. We can be very hard on ourselves sometimes. So I wanted to make a sticker to remind us to sort of have grace with ourselves. And then another one, rest is good. You folks know I've been resting a lot lately and I designed that sticker a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it was kind of like, I don't even think I was intending to make it into a sticker. I just felt like doodling on the couch. But then after I did it, I was like, oh my goodness, like this is such a good message. <laughs> and then it turned into this, let me show you. It turned into a little coffee mug that says rest is good. So yeah, I am photographing all these things today. I also decided to restock the Feeling Sketchy pencil cases. And I decided to do longer pencil cases this time and mint colored ones. So this is my favorite color. I love it so much. And the quality of these pencil cases, oh my goodness. It's just, it feels so nice. It's like a canvas material. So these ones are a lot longer than the old pencil cases. Like for reference, this is the pencil case I use quite a bit and it's pretty long. And this one is a lot longer than that. This is just a Clinique makeup bag. <laughs> but I wanted to do a longer one because Tombow markers will fit into it perfectly. And if you do like painting on the go and stuff, it's long enough for paintbrushes too. So I really like that. Anyway, yeah, today's a product photo shoot day and we'll see what happens if I'm happy with the photos. You know, I just realized for this shop launch, I have a lot of like mini paintings that I've been meaning to list in my shop. So I wonder if I should list those for this launch or wait like original paintings. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how much I feel like doing for this lunch. <laughs> Got lots of cute little papers that I like to layer when I photograph. I'm doing it a little differently this time. I usually don't do it at my desk, but I don't know. I don't feel like taking all this stuff downstairs where I usually do my photo shoots. So we're just gonna try it. If it doesn't work out, we'll go downstairs. Hi, I finished my photo shoot and now I am doing some back end work for my shop. Basically, I'll show you what I'm doing. Let me show you. So this is the new arrivals page for my shop right now. And I am currently removing items that have been up for a while. Like I just took down this Puggy vinyl sticker and this Be Weird sticker. So it's only in the stickers section of my shop now. And I'm removing a couple other items too, because I have a lot of new stuff and I want this page to be fresh. I pretty much only worked for two hours today, but that's all right. It's Monday. Good morning. It's the next day and I'm getting ready to go to a doctor's appointment, but I just wanted to say I got my entire shop launch prepared, all the photos taken, edited, listings made. I cleared my new arrivals except for these four items. 
because they're fairly new. I sound super congested today because my right side of my nose bled so much last night and I woke up and the left side of my nose bled. Um, I get really bad nosebleeds in general. <laughs> I have to like run humidifiers and stuff all the time. But pregnancy just makes it a lot worse. So I'll be talking about that at the doctor today. I do like everything to prevent them. It does not work. I think I just have to get my nose cauterized, which is fine. Do you want to see my messy art studio? Here's just random stuff from yesterday. And then over here, I have a lot of stuff on the floor because that's all photo shoot props, photo shoot props, and just paints and stuff. I love how you're sitting so close to the TV. There's a lot of text to read. Gotcha. I mean, you're gonna be able to read all this from way over there? Probably not. <laughs> Today is a chill day as far as art goes. I'm just editing videos. I'm trying to film and bank videos ahead of time. I think I said that earlier in this vlog, but we had a snowstorm and it's just so bright down here because of the snow. So I've just been chilling on our couch and yeah. Last night we had a fire in our fireplace and the snow was just coming in and it was great. I loved it. I think later today I'm either going to start packing orders or painting, we'll see. And I need to order prints still because I haven't done that yet. Also this is like not a week in the life of an artist, it's probably going to turn into like two or three weeks in the life of an artist because I just keep forgetting to pick up my camera and film. So like you're pretty much just getting like one or two days a week. <laughs> at this point. I'm not very good at vlogging, but I do enjoy it. It's really fun. Okay, I just folded a bunch of boxes back there because I'm planning to do bye-bye boxes, which is like usually when I take my inventory and say I'm discontinuing a print or I have leftover stuff or slightly defective stuff. I like to do bye-bye boxes. Sometimes I call them mystery boxes. It just depends on my mood, but it's a really nice way to give people a discount on a lot of art merch and not letting it go to waste. So yeah, I had to balance a couple up here because I can't reach any higher than that. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna show you this room real quick though because it's really just hectic. So all of this stuff is packing supplies and a lot of it is going to get used up probably within the next couple days because I had a big shop launch. Um, these, I like to reuse packaging materials that are sent to me because why not? And then there's all these boxes with more packing supplies. I always hang a bag here just for scraps. <laughs> and then right now this is what's going on on my shelves. I probably only have about two weeks left in this room 
for packing my stuff because this room is turning into a nursery and it is like the perfect room in our house to become a nursery. It is right next to the master bedroom. So if the babies cry or whatever, we can hear them. And this room is just a good size for it, I think too. It's not like super huge and yeah. So my packing area is temporarily gonna go into my art studio and it's gonna be chaos in there for a while. But we have been trying for like two months to get contractors out here to just quote us on remodeling our basement and people just no show us all the time it's really really frustrating it has been so hard to get somebody to come here to remodel our basement <laughs> we're like please take our money <laughs> but yeah it's it's been frustrating but my packing area is going to go in the basement once it is remodeled so that will be really nice because our basement, it is a lot of unused space and Dorv wants kind of his own like art studio too for airbrushing and 3D printing and everything. So we're gonna split the basement half and half. Like he'll have his area, I'll have mine. And then actually like into thirds because then the rest of our basement is going to become like a board gaming area slash pantry slash put all of our books there kind of like an entertainment area slash just extra storage so that's cool anyway i'm going to be making mystery bundles because i need to clear out some of my inventory before we start moving stuff around I somewhat filled a bin with orders. I have 38 orders left to go, but I'm taking it easy and I'm pretty much only packing like 15 orders a day right now. Processing times for my orders are three to four weeks right now and that does not include shipping times because of this. So, thank you guys for your patience. I think I am going to lay down for a little bit. It is 3.17 p.m. and I have been uploading a YouTube video for the past three hours. Let me just share with you where we're at right now. We are at a whopping 2%. 2%. That's really annoying. It is not an issue with my computer, by the way. I have troubleshooted it. I've uploaded this twice now in two different browsers. My husband's computer is the same way. I've cleared all my like browsing data and all that stuff and yeah, it's an issue with our internet provider. Again. You know what sounds really fun to me? Um, yeah, this sounds really fun. Let me just show you. So I went through some of my old artwork and I found this watercolor and gouache painting of Isa. That's what I named her. 
And this is from 2016, I believe. Yes, it says 2016 right on the image. And I would really love to do a draw this again video because I envision drawing this again like a lot differently than how it looks now. Like in the picture, there's succulents and stuff in the background and I'm not really like super into succulents anymore. So I'd probably change the foliage and instead of doing this in watercolor, I kind of think I want to do Copic marker and colored pencil and see how it goes. But I want to do a more realistic approach. I think I'm gonna do this. It sounds really fun. <laughs> Okay, don't judge me, but like, I just saw that in here. Like, first of all, I never cleaned off my palette with the stamps, don't judge me. But second of all, these hands are just chilling in here. I'm pretty sure Dorf did that. <laughs> okay, so I am going to get my desk prepped for this video and then decide if I wanna listen to an audiobook on Audible or watch Coco again on Disney Plus. Such a good comfort movie, you know? Just dropped my camera. I'm just gonna pray that it's not broken because this was a lot of money. The lens cover came off. I just found it. I'm very thankful that was on because yeah, I've never dropped a camera before till now, all these years. My desk is ready for its next art project. Got my Prisma colors. I'm on a kick with these right now. So we're gonna keep at it. And I think I'm gonna use these Copic markers today, which never really happens anymore. And probably like 20% of them are out of ink. So I don't know, I'll probably just do like the base color of the skin for this portrait with the Copics and then we'll see, I don't know. I'm on day two of this drawing and this is a draw this again sort of thing. I don't really do those very much. I don't even know if I've ever done one actually, but I thought it would be really fun just because I've been in the mood to use these colored pencils and draw people and I don't know, see how my style has changed with like a piece that I have already done. Okay, I'm a little bit further with this drawing now and I'm really happy with it so far because with my original piece, let me pull it up for you. This is the original piece. This is what we've got going now. I feel like back in 2016, I used a lot softer colors and I was afraid to lay down a lot of pigment with my watercolor stuff, especially with portraits. So with this version of my Draw This Again, I'm trying to go for brighter colors and just richer, deeper, more pigmented, you know, just mm, get some oomph to it. And I'm really happy with it so far. So this is fun. Hello, happy Monday. It is 3 p.m. and this morning I had a doctor's appointment and then I went grocery shopping came home, it took a really long nap, and now I'm finally sitting down to finish this painting. Drawing, it's a drawing. I don't think I'll actually finish the drawing today, but I just wanna work on it for a little bit, and then, yeah. Finally done with this. Now I'm just gonna clean up all my pencils and edit this video.
All right, so I just took orders to the post office and huh, that was relieving <laughs> to have that done. I have three orders left to pack and then it will go down to zero and it has not been at zero in over a month. So around the holidays, I was working on mouse pads and I finally have them here. My friend actually makes these for me and it takes a while because we go back and forth with design ideas and stuff. And um, also, you know, he works full time elsewhere aside from his small business. So yeah, it takes a while to get these done, but I am going to be restocking these Autumn Forest mouse pads. All my Autumn Forest stuff sells out really fast. So I tried to get more of these this time um, and hopefully they'll stay in stock longer. I'm also restocking my Black Eyed Susan's mouse pad, which is perfect because spring, summer, flowers, it's all coming. I'm so excited. And I'm restocking my Succulents mouse pad. This one I think has been sold out for a really long time. So I'm really excited to have this one back. And then I came up with some new mouse pad designs. So I'll show you some. There's actually more mouse pads than what I'm showing coming out, but this is all I'm gonna show you right now because I don't really feel like going <laughs> and getting the rest of them. So I decided to do a Peachy Pals mouse pad because I already have a lot of Peachy Pals stationery as it is, like notepads, stickers, washi tape. And I felt like this would really just round out that set. And I love my Peachy Pals, they're just, Look how cute they are. And then this one is my absolute favorite one that I'm releasing. I cannot wait. So I did a moth painting with acrylic gouache and then I did some digital manipulation to turn it into a mouse pad and I'm loving it. This is probably my favorite mouse pad I've ever done. Like the colors are just so, I love it, love it. And then this one, Rest is good. So y'all know I'm pregnant. I've been resting a lot, prioritizing rest. And it's really made me think about like hustle culture and stuff. And you know, even like not being pregnant, like rest is good for every human. So I thought, you know, if we have mouse pads and stuff at our work areas, like if you work at a desk, like maybe this is a good reminder. I hope it is. I hope it's a good reminder for you folks. And then this one here, be gentle with yourself. This is also a sticker in my shop, but I just love the message behind it. I think we are our own worst critics. And so if we can have a reminder to be gentle with ourselves, how beautiful is that? So yeah, those are my new mouse pad designs. Oh, this one also, if you look up close, I did this like really, really faint splattered design all around it. It's really hard to see unless it's like in person, but I feel like it made it look a little more like bohemian. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I was gonna try to wait until the next vlog to show those to you, but I'm just too excited. And by the time I get this video edited, these mouse pads might be out anyway. So we'll see. Also, I just wanted to say, I hope you're all doing well. February is my least favorite month of the year. And so I'm really glad I'm filming this on February 23rd. I don't know when that's gonna go up, but I'm really glad we only have one more week of this month. And then we can hop into March and I just feel like, ha, huh, spring is coming. That's so beautiful. Makes my heart happy. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope that you have a good week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.